folks, we have received from a very well-known gentleman. I'm not going to say his name yet. We're doing the report right now. I think he's on the nightly news tonight. A document he got through lawsuits with the loving TSA. You know, they declared national security on Alex Jones and Matt Drudge and others that has been admitted or in their internal documents as enemies. Uh, don't joke or they'll arrest you. But uh, now... Uh, we're going over the documents right now. Uh, TSA and their internal documents say that they're not really for terrorism. So don't worry about that. Of course, they, the government runs that. Uh, it's about currency controls. It's about controlling the slaves, which we already knew. You can look at what they do and tell what they're for. It'd be like if a dog ran up a tree and was barking at a coon and looked like a coon dog. I go, is that a coon dog? Well, of course it's a coon dog. I mean, it's like. It'd be like if you're looking at uh, Marilyn Monroe in her prime, Norma Jean, and you ask, is that a bombshell blonde? I don't know. It'd be like looking at this government saying, is this a big, fat, stinking, rat-infested tyranny of control freak scumbags wanting to absolutely enslave us on sicko power trips? But if it ain't, there's never been one. I mean, this is the biggest, nastiest, slobbering, stinkiest, vicious, most pus-filled, giant, maggot, infested creature I've ever seen in my life. So that's some of the news we've got. Some of the news up on DrudgeReport.com. Next, Obama vows immigration push. Mercy, Reed McConnell reach deal. White House, no winners, except Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan. They, they brought you tonight's jokes, and no matter, no matter um, if you laugh or not, they still laugh. <laughs> Remember Obama said that? Viral photo of public sex act at university sparks rape allegations. That's just uh, some of the news we're going to be breaking down. Drudge reports that even Cruz folded and vote for it. And then the flashback of Cruz saying life or death. You know, what happened is the Republican leadership that's patriotic realized that they wanted to wreck the whole country and have the debt limit go down so Obama could basically become a dictator. And that if they let him have his Obamacare now, he can get the blame for it. And I got to say, Mitch McConnell first said that a few weeks ago, and I, I wasn't sure if I agreed with it. We war game that idea. Ron Paul last Friday agreed. He said, no, that is the way to go. We've tried to beat it. It's already going to go down. It's going to go down with debt increases. Uh, we've got to fight it each time, but when they hold us hostage, at least this time, you've got to let them have it because the constituents are too stupid. We have to let Obamacare hurt them first. And so I'm not here apologizing for Ted Cruz. I'm just saying I, I myself, as of last Friday, said, Ron Paul, isn't it really time to agree with Mitch McConnell, as much as I hate saying that, that we've tried to beat this, we're trying to do the moral thing, they won't let us stop. Maybe we can cue that up later in the next hour. I mean, we're already in the next hour, but find it towards the end of the interview with Ron Paul. It's like 20 minutes long. And he said, no, no, I think that's right. I fought health care takeover. You fought it. We tried to stop it. But now we're just going to get the blame. Let them have it. It's going to fail. Let them have it. Let it be their baby. Now, Obama's just going to blow something up and blame it on patriots before he gets the blame anyways or start a big war. But... I mean, maybe that's wrong. Maybe we should open the phones up in overdrive or something, because I got pharmacist Ben Fuchs coming on with some medical news. But what do you think about this? I mean, I mean, it is true. Even Cruz folds flashback. This is life or death, he said. He said, I won't delay debt bill. And, and that's because Obama says the Republicans are holding us hostage. It's the opposite. He's trying to bankrupt us, keep raising the debt ceiling, cut nothing, only increase. Give trillions more to foreign banks, rape everybody with Obamacare. A few good Republicans try to hold it up. The Republican leadership goes after them. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system. But check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com. The clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro Filtered Sports Bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. 
the ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. Up on InfoWars.com, report NBC edits video to frame veterans. We know they deceive people, but... We can't just get to where we're accustomed to it and just accept that they're certified liars engaged in information warfare operations against the American people. We need to stand up against it and speak out. And here's another article that came out from Business Insider. U.S. government funding domestic propaganda officially hits the airwaves run by the Pentagon against the American people today. It's been running for decades, but now they are using lies on us. Well, Rachel Maddow... And people like the CIA uh, captain over there, uh, what is he, the heir to the uh, Astor Fortune, uh, Anderson Cooper. I, I mean, it came out in 1999 that CNN was really a CIA front run by the CIA. I, I mean, that's what they're there for, to get your kids on serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They're there to get GMO into you. They're there to have you go along with having your bank account looted by foreign banks. I mean, this is a foreign takeover. Either accept it or become total, uh, you know, resistors and say no to the new world order. And if you just joined us, the EBT system is run by Chase. They're never getting rid of it. They're only terrorizing everybody to accept the debt increase, which just happened up until uh, February, the middle of February. Government continues to run the parts of it they were shutting down uh, now until uh, later uh, in January, what, January 7th. But you'll still have grandstanding and pity parties by all of the park rangers and people that are actually getting extra overtime to harass people they catch in and around the parks. I mean, it's just going to continue until they're all shut down. They're paid double wages to live on the national parks themselves. They've actually done that in many areas. That's their final plan. Uh, continuing as parasites. Uh, crisis, USDA orders states to withhold electronic food stamps. And it looks like that's still going ahead. At Fort Hood, role players help train troops for riot control in America. After a dozen years of training to go into combat zones filled with enemy so com combatants, some soldiers are now training to manage themselves in peaceful situations involving civilians. Isn't that just cute? Yeah, they're all getting training to go up against the American people. And that's out of KDLH News at Fort Hood. Uh, and Game Changer, Swiss banks are gearing up to... Uh, not let anybody basically use them if they're in a foreign country and to let everybody know who's depositing what. Unless you're a billionaire uh, socialist, then you are tax exempt and above the law, a.k.a. Uh, the uh, French socialist. So that's some of the news uh, on that front. And here is the Unintelegraph. The sun is setting on dollar supremacy and with it, American power. No matter how many debt increases they do, they've now bankrupted us and the globalists will move on to the next country. Uh, Fitch puts U.S. credit rating under review for downgrade because they didn't capitulate to the bankers fast enough, just like Greece. And the more you capitulate, the worse things get. But so what? The public doesn't care. There's a football game on today. So that's just some of the news on that front. But the biggest news of the day, I've got to say, is Chase Bank sending letters to their customers. We have copies of them up there. We've called them. It's real letters saying no foreign wire transfers. Anybody doing, even moderate-sized businesses doing foreign wire transfers. I wire money to Paul Watson every month as a contractor. He's a contractor, not an employee over in the UK. Uh, and uh, I'm not do, you know, doing wires with Chase, but the whole point is, is that they wouldn't be doing that unless it's going to be system-wide. And, I mean, that is so draconian. I, you can even do foreign wire transfers. You live in like places like Iran. I mean, the... Only the, I think North Korea, you can't do them. So, I mean, this is, this, this, this is insane. And they're going to limit well, how much cash you can get out. So it's official. They run the whole show. They run America. Chase is the jewel in the crown of the foreign banks that run America and set up the Federal Reserve 100, 100 years ago on December 23rd. 100 years of the shareholders of J.P. Morgan Chase now merged, J.P. Morgan and Chase were involved at the time, 
uh, running this country directly into the ground, and they ran the takeover of Ireland and the takeover of Greece, the takeover of everybody else. Absolutely incredible uh, article. I mean, here's an example. Crisis. USDA orders states to withhold electronic food stamps. That's important, but it has 919 comments. Look at Chase Bank limits cash withdrawals, bans international transfers, 176. That should have a million comments. People should be freaking out over what that means. And we have Watson on the nightly news to break that down. Okay, good. And then report NBC edits video to frame veterans. That just went up. That is so incredibly important. And you'll be like, well, I already know that. I already know they're liars. Well, your friends and family don't know that. And then Fort Hood gears up for financial collapse. Julie Wilson has that new report. Just went up seconds ago as I hit refresh. We don't have automatic refresh on Infowars.com, so be sure and refresh it yourself. By the way, tell IT, I want it to automatically refresh every hour. I mean, that's, that's, that needs to be done. Just in case people, you know, have it sitting there and forget to refresh it as their homepage. It's important. Because I forget it all the time at home, and then I something big breaks. Uh, so let's put a, every one hour refresh on there. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.